you want to bind your receiver with the transmitter but you have no connection and with the no connection you can't do an update with the receiver for that there is a solution you can update with the TBS core or the diversity RX first you log in to the computer and install the TBS agent X and with the TBS agent X you connect with the, the USB cable to the core or the diversity RX and from there you can connect with the BSD cable and directly to the receiver and with that you can update your software to the correct one you want. Now let's start to do this. Okay, if you have the problem with the transmitter and receiver to bind, for example I have the Micro RX version 1, and I show you what the problem is. If I power up the transmitter and go to bind, if I hold the button, bind, so it's flash screen, that's correct. Then I power up the receiver. Now I push the bind button. Now it flashes the screen first and now it's red flashing. Okay, red flashing means there is an update. Uh, you, you have to do an update for the receiver. But now it doesn't work with, with the transmitter because it doesn't bind. Here's an option with the diversity RX. So I do that. Now I'm powering I cancel the binding and disconnect the LiPo batteries. And now I go to the receiver, connect the BSD bus, and now it's important to power up the receiver, the microdisc receiver, separately from the diversity because the, the BSD bus doesn't power up the receiver. At the moment the cable is, isn't plugged into the computer and now I power up the both systems and I have to push the bind button from both so that it is screen flashing rapidly. Okay, I push both button, the bind buttons and powering up the system. And now you see there is a green flashing in the receivers, in the both. Okay, now I can power up with the USB cable, I'll connect the USB cable to the computer and open the TBS Agent X. Then you see bootloader mode, the, the crossfire, go to manage, go to firmware and now you can update. So I update that, click update, then I have to wait and it's starting to upload a new software. And uh, now you see the fast green flashing. So that is updating the subsystem. First it updates the device diversity RX and now over the bus system, the subsystem or the, the receiver micro version one. Okay, now the update is done. The receiver is now red and the diversity rx is green flashing slowly okay i can disconnect the usb cable and disconnect the receiver and 
now I go again to to the transmitter and power up the receiver again first the transmitter of course then go to bind screen flashing I power up click the bind again green flashing okay and now there's a message update micro rx and I go to yes and if everything is blue and you see update receiver and that's perfect and you have to wait Then you see the the green flashing very rapi rapidly. And then you see binding OK. And it's constant green. OK. And you see devices. And you see the micro RX and green green so it's connected I can check if I connect to the computer again you should see the micro RX so you go to devices and you see XF micro RX thanks for watching I hope I could help you and if you like the video, give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Stay productive and I will see you in the next video.